Shalom brothers and sisters, I've got something special to share with you. A little bit of deeper enlightenment on things that we might not know when we read scriptures and we don't always understand. So one of the things is Jesus in the Bible using spit to heal. I mean, he's God. He can say the words without even being there. We've seen this in the Bible and people are healed instantly by faith. But let's look at three particular scriptures. The first one, Mark 8 verse 22 to 25 says the following. He came to Bethsaida and they brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. So he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up and said, I see men like trees walking. Then he put his hands on his eyes again and made him look up and he was restored and saw everyone clearly. So spit, part of the process. Then we go to Mark 7, verse 31 to 35. It says, Again departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ep fata, that is, be opened. Immediately his ears were opened and the impediment of his tongue was loosed and he spoke plainly. John 9 verse 1 to 7. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated saint. So he went and washed and came back seeing. So there's a there's a thing about saliva and spitting involved in these three cases that I've presented to you now. And there's something deeper I want to show you here that you might not know. The Talmud recognizes saliva as a healing factor. Bavra Basra 126b, the healing power of saliva. In the chapter that deals with the rules of inheritance, there's this interesting piece. A certain person once came before Ar Hanina and said to him, I'm sure that this man is first born. Ar Hanina said to him, how do you know? The person replied, because when people came to his father, he used to say to them, go to my son Shikat, who is first born, and his saliva heals. Might he not have been the first born of his mother only, but not of his father? There is a tradition that the saliva of the firstborn of a father heals, and that the firstborn of a mother does not heal. Being declared a firstborn son was a big deal in Talmudic times, for the lucky son would inherit obviously twice the share of goods from everything that his brothers were going to get, and in Talmudic society, only the saliva of a firstborn of a father heals. In his commentary on the passage, the Rosh Bam adds that the healing properties of saliva refer to it as used as eye medication. So they see it in their tradition as they, the firstborn of the father can have healing properties in their saliva. Interesting. The Roman naturalist and writer Pliny the Elder, 23 to 79 AD, who is a contemporary with Jesus, has a whole chapter in his natural history 
of many, often ridiculous and crazy, diseases, injuries that can be cured by fasting saliva, meaning saliva in the morning before breakfast. He mentions in 28 verse 7 of his document, lichens and leprous spots may be remedied by early morning application of fasting saliva. Eyes may be cured by early morning fasting spittle. So the student of nature Pliny knew that there was healing properties in saliva. Thousands of years later, and here we are, microbiologists have turned their attention and experiments to the half gallon of saliva generated each day. We don't swallow our saliva when we sleep. Hence, fasting saliva, the very first saliva when you wake up. Scientists from Lahore in Pakistan tested the ability of human saliva to heal wounds. They collected saliva from 24 willing human spitters and applied the saliva to 2 cm by 2 cm wounds on the backs of 30 fully grown adult male rabbits. Three rabbits were controls and received no treatment. Another three had standard antibiotic ointment applied to the wounds and the remaining lucky 24 had the saliva applied every two hours for two weeks. The Pakistani scientists noted the healing speed on the wounds on which saliva was applied was higher than the wounds on which healing medication was applied. Isn't that interesting? They concluded healthy human saliva possesses significant antimicrobial as well as wound healing properties. The innate ability of human saliva mainly attributed to his statin protein suggests salivary proteins can be used for medicinal purposes. They have found his statins in our spit. His statins are a group of histidine rich cationic peptides which are antibacterial and antifungal and are found only in humans and primates. Cuts in the mouth heal much more quickly in the oral cavities than skin lesions or similar wounds healing in seven days. They also found, this is where it gets exciting, neutrophilus with their abundance of white blood cells which are the micro cells that protect our body against infectious diseases and foreign invaders. And they found laminin in our saliva. Laminin, if you don't know what that is, a glycoprotein component of connective tissue basement membrane that promotes cell adhesion. It's also in the form of a cross. And that's inside of us. All of that inside the spit. Interesting. Jesus, God, knows everything and understands everything. He made everything. Everything persists in him. So he spits and heals and there are healing properties in these things that he understood better than anybody else. Isn't that amazing? There's so much more when we dig deep. And I think when we sit down with the Lord God Most High, very shortly, one of these days, the things He's going to reveal to us and tell us that we didn't even realize or know would cook our normal human brains. Hence, we have glorified bodies that can handle the upload. And I, for one, can't wait to learn even more amazing things that He is. To show us. I hope that blessed you. It certainly blessed me when I dug deeper into the spitting situation and the firstborn, our God Most High, and the power that He demonstrated in these situations. Shalom.